What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. We're diving back into more Pure Michigan beer. It's going to be from Shorts Brewing Company. This is the Nitro Super Delicious Irish Stout. Ultra creamy Irish style stout, guys. Clocking in at 4.4% ABV. I'm actually shocked that Shorts has listed the ABV on the bottom of the can. They rarely ever do that. I don't know why they decided to put it on this can, but I'm happy about it. I wish Shorts would do it more often. Uh, but that being said, disclaimer, this was sent to me by Shorts, so thank you so much for sending this, guys. I really appreciate it. Always a fan of Shorts Brewing Company. You guys know that by now if you're watching this channel, especially this many episodes in. Okay, so we love Shorts beer, but we will check this one out. It's on Nitro. I dig it. This was canned on 126.24, and today is February 10th, time of recording. So let's get into this one. See if we can dig this Irish stout. So I do like this style, I will say. Um, you guys like Guinness. Okay, it's kind of maybe up towards that alley in that spectrum. So let's go to it. Maybe we'll go for a hard pour. <clears throat> so we shall see how creamy she is. So that's Coke in the glass. It is pretty dark. A Little bit of brown intertwined into the darkness. And you know, I expected maybe a little bit bigger of a head, but I didn't go straight down. You know, I kind of tilted the glass a little bit. Maybe not a proper pour, if you will, but that's okay because then it takes forever for the head to dissipate. So it looks really good. Looks very creamy. That is the head we're looking for on the top of this glass. It looks solid. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say, guys. It looks how it should. A little bit of dark burnt mocha caramel on the top of that head. Again, it's, it's creamy. It's mocha. It's a little bit darker. It's not... Uh, light beige it's more on the dark end of the spectrum looks good uh, again the creamy level all the way up where i like it uh, let's go to an aroma yeah I, a little bit of that astringent bitterness you have a little bit of coffee you have a little bit of chocolate uh, but the most dominant thing on the nose is that uh, roasted malt and we get a little bit of that dark barley in there as well it all intertwines into this irish style that seems so evident when you get your nose in there guys it's all the smells that you should be getting considering the style of beer so uh, roasted malt a little bit of barley um, dark chocolates a little bit of that bitterness a uh, happy quality a um, little bit of caramel notes more coffee a little bit of like soft decadence to it, almost like a desserty kind of vibe just for a moment. It does smell a little bit hoppy though, so I wouldn't say it's desserty by any means. That's not what this style is meant to be. But my point is it has a little bit of that decadence accenting it, so I like it. Um, let's, let's dive in. It smells very good. And again, I'm a fan of this style. Let's see how much I like this one. Cheers. Cheers, shorts. Mmm. Wow, is that light. It is so light. I love the back end, the bitterness, the slight hoppiness, uh, the roasted coffee bitterness. Um, again, a little bit of that dark chocolate, creamy chocolates going on, just interwoven into the softness of this beer, the watered down complex, because it's so light, that 4.4%. Um, tastes like a Guinness in a way, but a little bit more hoppy, a little bit more edgy on the back end. Um, so soft. And, and just decadent through the middle. I really think that is an absolute freaking crusher. Um, man, you know, it's it, it was just like 60 degrees in Northern Michigan. Now it's like back in the 30s. This is such a fitting beer. Just it, it gives me a little bit of that drinkability, but the darker beers really flow well when it's cold out. This is just a nice treat right now. But I can't stress it enough how drinkable this beer is. And I know you guys are saying, yeah, it's 4.4%, but it's so soft, it's it's airy, uh, the way it flows, again, it's, it's, it's watery a little bit, but in a good way. It's still showing you the roasted notes on the bottom, the maltiness coming out a little bit, that barley really chipping away at your palate. Again, a little bit of coffee bitterness, like almost espresso note or roasted Starbucks, French roast, uh, again, that little bitter kind of astringent hoppiness on the back end to accent it all out and it just leaves your mouth a little bit dry and asking for another swig of that liquid guys to get it uh, re-situated in there it's just a really good beer i mean it's it's up my alley not everybody's going to be wowed by this not everybody will appreciate it i happen to because it's a good style and it's done really well 
But to put it in complex, how smooth it is with that nitro, dude, I could floor this thing. I could put it down in a, in a matter of seconds. It's it's that good. Um, and shit, I might. <laughs> This is just an extra treat. I usually don't do this, guys, but it just feels like St. Patty's Day is coming up. So watch. I'm going to show you how good this beer is. Sorry. I had an air bubble, and I actually was going to burp before I took that swig. Um, <clears throat> there it is. So I don't normally do that, but guys... That's how good the beer was. So with all that being said, I like to put this at a four out of five. Uh, in the category, I would go closer to a five out of five. It's a little bit watery, but it's meant to be. Um, and it's just a crusher if you couldn't tell. So um, I like this beer. It's a four out of five for me, uh, even though maybe not the most popular category or favorite style. I really dig it. So where am I uh, rating that again? You heard it. It's a four out of five, guys. Uh, that's what it is today. And again, don't normally do this, but it was fun. I'm showing you how drinkable this beer was at the end of the day. Nice job, shorts. Uh, I'm Dan. I'm over and out. Yamas, cheers. More cervezas. We like them. We'll keep drinking them. Cheers, guys.